strange. I got booted off the internet. That hasn't happened in a long time. Alright, this chat's a mess. I'm gonna refresh it. I hope there wasn't a picnic while I was gone. I, I hate to miss out on a picnic. Alright, there we go. Did everyone leave? Still some guys. Welcome back. Damn, how far did how did, did I cut out after or before the Makoto did the awesome thing on the Yang? It was like at 54 minutes in. It was at 60 seconds in this round. That was very strange. I was going to like cut up the video at the end of this one and do another one, but now that's looking like I'm just going to do... I'm going to cut it up in a very strange location. There's only six minutes more of this video. Alright, but look at this. Look at this crazy Makoto juggle. I've never seen this outside combo videos. Dash, dash, punch, super. Or dash, punch, dash, super. That was cool as hell. Jump short, stand around the house. I thought that was awesome. Hi, hi, hi. That stand fierce only exists to make it so low parry doesn't work. Me juggle. So I've never seen that jab kill. It's usually just people go for it for a reset. I've never seen juggling at the Super 1 outside a combo video. It's because there's so few opportunities to juggle without Super 2 or EX Fukiyage or stuff like that. Juggling at the Super 1, usually you don't have the bar. Or the Super 1. Link Super? I think he got it, yeah. Didn't quite kill. It's a very difficult situation. Comebacks are very possible in this game because of the way parry works. But, uh, what the fuck, they're changing the characters. Genki. There we go. They're looking for the right Gen and the right key. That key is the same key as in, like, uh, like Qi, like the Chinese, like energy. I think it literally means energy. And the again is, I think, body. Something like that. Body energy. Genki's a good player. Genki's a very common Japanese concept. It's basically... Derek will into the how are you. Whoa! Asks you about your Genki. very archaic question. Ooh, EX slash I've only got one hit. Genki's good, but he's not my favorite Alex. I remember, uh, I forget who. I remember Zongo F has a really good Alex, but he's not my favorite either. Backdashes are neither airborne nor invincible. They are still useful for movement purposes. They are not useless. Sometimes getting out of the scenario really fast is still a viable option. But no, almost nothing in this game is invincible. A few supers, like one or two non-super, like, reversal special moves. And then fucking, by one or two I mean like, eh, it's probably like five or six in the whole game. And then, um, parries. 
parries replace invincibility. Street Fighter 4 needs invincibility because it doesn't have anything else that would take that place. There are too many scenarios where you're just dead if you don't have invincibility. Invincibility still isn't a perfect system though. Because like a lot of characters, in invincibility is not evenly spread amongst the cast. Like a lot of characters, if I'm Ryu, and like I get Ken to chip health, and I just like get meaty, I knock him over, I just get meaty on him, I just do meaty EX, EXDP, it just stuffs all his reversals. Alex gets a punish. That was nice. I would have cancelled the super. Why did you EX chop? Super would have been way better. I mean, it would have done more damage, like, sure. That's, like, a, a whether he wants the damage of the Dizzy and Momentum, that's his call. But the Super was better anyway, because it would have run up time with Ganejin. <gasps> that was Super 2! Genki, what are you doing? Sandshort doesn't even combo to EX chops. It does combo to Super, though. What the fuck? How'd he fuck up both of those scenarios? He, get, he had plenty of time to think about them. Just cancel the super, holy fuck. That was a great stand fierce. It's quite difficult to... Alex's backdash is actually pretty good. It's kind of annoying to catch him with Ganejin, which is good for Alex. This matchup is otherwise decently difficult. Most characters lose to Yun. I don't think Alex loses extraordinarily, but he definitely loses. Either 6-4 or 7-3. Yun's dead. Genki's a good player, though. I can't, like, I don't know why he didn't super. That's crazy. Like, I definitely, it seemed like a really obvious go-to. And there was no buffering issues because he'd already hit the but he'd already hit the button both times. Like, I have no idea why he wouldn't super. That's really strange that he did. All right. Let's watch the um. One twenty ninth game spot versus East versus West War. This one's only forty two minutes long. I could just stream this game forever. I wouldn't care. The Shen doesn't normally upload, or he took a long break. Maybe because he didn't have anything to upload. Because he just reappropriates Japanese and sometimes European footage. But, um. Um. Ooh, nice link. He must have, I think he wanted super and not uh, electricity. In fact, I can't imagine he would ever want electricity there. This is going to dizzy? Yeah. This kill. Even without meter. Easy. That gets a lot of hits of electricity. Up to five, depending on the character. It's a good setup. Does a lot of damage. Five hits of electricity does a lot. Electricity in this game is DP motion to start and then uh, mash punches to keep it going. I like that system a lot more than... Um, and then Alexis D in Street Fighter 4, and Mash Moves in Street Fighter 4. Links into Super are big on some characters. Links besides that are almost non-existent. Like, Yurian doesn't have a single Link that I'm aware of. Just as an example. Necro only has Links out of Half Circle Forward, Hard Punch, I think. And a couple Links into Super. Links are a very small deal in this game, but some characters rely on them a lot, like Dudley and Ken. Use Links all the time. And a lot of characters have, like, one button that they can link out of. Like, Yun or Gang, Close Stand Strong, can link into Far Short. And that's, like, their only link that's useful. Yun can get, uh, from Far Stand Short, Yun can get a dash punch, but Yang has to go for, um, EX Rekka. Because all his special moves are too slow to combo out of lights. There aren't that many link-based normal combos. I'm trying to think of one. I just named one. That's like, the, I can't think of a, like, there are not that many. There are not that many at all. I'm like running through the characters in my head. It's just not really a thing. That's nice. Also, chains, uh... Even if you chain, like, you can still cancel in this game. So Yan can just do low short, low short, and even if it chains, he can just cancel to dash punch. Which is really good for some characters. Like, Ken can do low short, low jab, low short, super, for example. That's very useful. Dudley can go low short, low short, super. Very useful. Remy can do low jab, low jab, low jab, flash kick. Yang can do low jab, low jab, low jab, EX Rekos. Stuff like that. Being able to just cancel out of 
uh, chains is uh, a neat thing. Most Third Strike original characters can't chain, though. Twins can, Shadows can, um, Remy can. But there aren't that many others. In fact, that might be all of them. Dudley can. Not that many chains in this game. That was uh, great, actually. That makes it easier. Most combos are just simple confer or simple cancels. It's like get an opportunity to land a combo. Do um. Oh, you can change his light punch. Okay. It's like get a simple combo. Um. Uh, or get a simple get a simple punish opportunity. You just do like low strong, low strong super, for example, or like low strong, low strong uppercut super, something like that. Combos are very short. They're very direct. And then a lot of characters have like an EX move or like a normal or something that'll launch and then you just go for that launch and then you do a juggle. And juggles are like links in that they're timing based, but they're a lot safer than links. Like if you drop a juggle, it's lost damage, but you don't get punished. Like if you drop your link, you can eat like a Zingy Filter 1. If you drop your juggle, you know, you don't need anything. You just lose damage. And of course, there's still an incentive not to drop your juggles, but it's just way less risky, which lets people go for uh, cooler juggles. Fearlessly. Which makes it somewhat more um, accessible in a way. Even though it's less accessible in most other ways. I think that character on Makoto's name is Ashi. And then it's uh, Fet Fetchy. Fetch. No, I know it's Kiraki. This line of player is real cool. I've never seen him before. I've started watching these recent videos. He's real good, though. <gasps> I think that was supposed to be super. He got an uppercut. He was probably, he was almost definitely trying to do low strong cancel to super. That was good. Can you still do Karakusa Sei Chusen? Is that a joke? In this game, you do Karakusa, Stand Fierce, Dash Punch, Say Chusen. Dash Punch doesn't cancel into Super or anything like that in this game, but it's a one-frame link into Say Chusen, longer if the opponent's crouching. You can do Karakusa, Say Chusen super easily because uh, Say Chusen is really fast in this game, but you can go for much bigger juggles, or combos, not juggles. There's actually quite a lot of character-specific horse shit in this game, actually. Yama. Um, most characters have combos that sort of work on everyone, but some characters, particularly ones with juggles, every single character juggles differently. I shouldn't say every single one juggles differently, all the Shadows juggle the same, both twins juggle the same. Most characters, like, the same juggle works on everyone. But there are a lot of combos where, like, you have to go for specific juggles because some character juggles oddly. Hugo and twins, for example, are very difficult to juggle for most characters with juggles. Q and Dudley are very easy to juggle for most characters. Or like Chun-Li. Hi, Ronan. I see you there. Doing your thing. Posting Kappas. I haven't seen you... I, you haven't been... I haven't had a lobby in a long time, I guess. Because I haven't seen you in ages. Have you, been, you haven't come to Bath Cups. I'm guessing you work then or something. Whoa, I think... I don't know what he was trying to do. That might have been a super. He got down forward run... He got roundhouse. Zombieware, do you, um, how good are you at this game? Just wondering. You seem to be contributing a lot to the discussion, and not, like, bad con contributions either. <laughs> that could have been supered. Uh, bad. He should have, that was not, that jump was not good. This matchup is okay, except Oro has, the lander will randomly fall out of juggles. It's not random, but it's, uh, very, very, very slight differences in timing will make a lander just fall out. And, um... Uh, or loses quite solidly in footsies. Apart from that, it's it's all right. It's a bad matchup though. Great overhead. The distance was pretty much perfect. He missed his crutch fierce, so his super went to waste. He didn't get punished though. He can't get punished there, even if they quick stand. I should have another lobby. I haven't. I 
I haven't seen you in forever. Sneeze incoming. I turned off my mic to sneeze. I should do that every time. Elena could have dashed out there, but Oro was waiting for it, but Oro couldn't do what he was going to do because he was he was waiting for the dash out. Yeah, most people come in here and they don't know anything, zombie. It's the Elena, Elena, Elena mirror specific, character specific intro. Tato Bine. The Link's tail combo, that's low. The low overhead mix-ups are good, but in this game, in Street Fighter 4, the be the better low overhead mix-ups tend to be between the special moves. And in this game, the, low overhead, the better low overhead mix-ups tend to be between the normals. Elena doesn't really have a good low in this game. She doesn't really have a good low in Street Fighter 4. Her overheads are all good, though. I could play Zombie. I don't want to sound massively overconfident, but I think I would beat anyone who says that they're alright. It depends on the context of what alright is. Elena's butt is extremely good in this game. Ooh, the juggle. If you connect on an airborne opponent, you can do some cool juggles with the X, uh, Link's tail. Mount smash. EX mount smash. In particular, there's one really, uh, it's quite well known juggle. Where if you connect on an airborne opponent with a mount smash, you can get, and only get one hit. You can do another one and get, like, two hits, and then another one and get two hits. And actually, on, like, uh, some particular matchups and characters, you can do, like, up to four EX mount smashes and get one hit, one hit, two hits, two hits. And if you actually get that, it's an instant dizzy. Does a ton of dizzy. It sounds very impractical, but actually there's some moves you can parry. Like, uh, I know uh, specifically Zoro, if uh, Elena parries his EX uh, Oniyama, she can do it on him. Like, she can parry all four hits and then um, EX mount smash, EX mount smash, EX mount smash, EX mount smash. I've never really fought a Gil. Ooh, the juggle. That was cool. Traded Mount Smash with the normal, and then the uh, Kiraki comboed the trade. I thought Turbine would be winning easily here, but actually, um, it's really close. Gil is not intended for balanced play. You used to be able to select Gil. There was no caveat to not select Gil in uh, the Xbox version of uh, Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, which is what people used to play. Um, this game, not play this game on. So the people who unlocked Gil by beating the game with all characters or whatever, they could just play Gil online. And, like, there's nothing to stop that. And Gil was stupidly broken. They let you play as Gil in Online Edition, but only in Endless, and you, there's, you can just turn him off. In fact, he's turned off by default. I unlocked Gil. Oh, that meaty... Oh, there you go. That's why you can't throw out too many mount smashes in this game. Hi, Seth. Damn, that sneeze left me all stuffed somehow. You could have maybe gotten any X-Tackle there. Our throws legit punishes in this game. Nah, uh, depends on what you mean by le legit punishes. If you throw someone in a punish scenario, they can't take the throw, if that's what you're asking, because some games you can take the throw even then. If you're asking if they're good punishes, usually not. But some characters really like positioning. For example, if Yurian was cornered and he was in a punish scenario, he might just back throw as his punish. Just to get uh, the opponent in the corner. Because Yurian loves the corner. Lina's super jump is occasionally useful. Ken is better than Ryu. That's the obvious answer, Seth. Yeah, it's kind of a state of the times. But even then, Ken's Ken's fireballs are like the same as Ryu's. There's like no differences. Ryu's is red, and I but I think they do the same damage. They both knock down. Ken's and Ryu's EX fireballs are like identical, and their regular fireballs are like identical. Their DPs are different, but not in such a way that Ken's is clearly better. But yeah, it's Super 3 that really makes Seth broken. I mean, not Seth, fucking Ken. He can combo... Um, his super 3 is like a 3 frame super. Or a 4 frame super. 3 frames I think. And um... 
he can just confirm into it off of a shit ton of his normals, including an overhead and a low. So Ken ends up having like the best Okie Zema in the game. It's not actually the best, Dudley's is probably better because of the Rose. And due to a few other interesting options, like down roundhouse and stuff like that. Better meterless options. But um Ken's damage is stupidly high. And Ken's got uh, a very solid ground game that makes him kind of better than Dudley, maybe. I don't know. Ken has better matchups than Dudley. They're very close, though. They're very close. Ken's three quarters Japanese. Oh, ReZX Fireball travels faster. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds correct. There's the black Yuko. Who lives in Mississippi? Yeah, that is interesting. Every Shoto is at least part Japanese. We don't have explicit confirmation that either Akuma or Goken are Japanese, but it would be weird if they weren't. But they've never had a listed country of origin. Actually, I think uh, Akuma is explicitly from Japan in this game. Um, but Sean's half Japanese, Ken's three quarters Japanese. And I'm trying to think of another Shoto. Soccer, I guess. I don't know. She's Japanese. That was a well-placed mirror. Whoa! That was a terrible Crouch Fierce. Crouch Fierce is a shitty button move anyway. Best Urian color? That's hardly a pop quiz. I guess I like the red one. Or the black one. Red or black. 12-year-old colors. Urian color? That is the best urine color yellow. Actually, I guess it's, like, clear. Ooh, that was a good super. So that's Stan Fierce. Actually, it might be Stan Strong. He whiffs both buttons to get meter. You probably saw Stan Strong, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. That's Stan Strong. And he's whiffing Stan Forward, Low Forward, too. But that's more of a footsy thing than a meter build thing. Clear isn't the color. Damn. Damn, low jab. He see how he low parried the stand jab. Stand short and stand jab, you can low parry. And also, um, you can parry either way more accurately. And uh, also, all crouching punches, you can parry either way. Other stand buttons tend to be high parry only, and other uh, all crouching kicks are low parry only. So if you wanted to, like here, it's kind of weird how parries work, which is why parries aren't really, they're more specific than, uh, not even just for timing, they're more specific, than, that was a good parry, more specific than um, blocking. Let's say I'm an Oro, okay, because I understand everything in terms of Oro. If I do close medium kick into command grab, that's a uh, high parry only. And if I do crouch medium kick into command grab, that's a low parry only. But if you just down back, you can low block both of them. But like, that's a 50-50 against people looking for parries, but it's just a clean a clean risk against people not looking for parries. Chain on whiff. Nothing chains on whiff. You can't do any sort of cancel on whiff. Except, like, Rekka's, I guess. It's the only thing. Cancels don't work on whiff. They just whiff really fast, that's all. Oh yeah, lights don't build meter. Like they actually, it's not even like they build a very small amount, I think they actually don't build any. So everyone has to whiff uh, medium or hard normals.
Damn that meaty, meaty stand fierce. Just because of the range it connected. That's strange. I like the stand fierce as an overhead. So is, so is Hugo's, so is Oro's. Can, to what extent I can play the rest of the cast? If my Oro is a like an 8 out of 10 Oro, then my every other character is a 1 out of 10. I'm garbage at the rest of the cast. Once the other girls, when it actually comes out, therefore I can get it. I didn't fund it, so like, I don't have it. <laughs> I couldn't fund the Kickstarter because I was broke. So like when it actually, even though I was like following the project, um, I was just like, I'll buy it when it comes out, when I've got the money to buy it. But then like the the release has been delayed partly partly because all the people who wanted to play it are playing the beta, and partly because thing unexpected developments or whatever. They had to go get it fucking... They got it approved for Nessica and whatever. Probably a lot of things. I it was supposed to come out in December. And that's already happened. I don't even know what Death Cargo is. I knew that Yotagross would have at least a small niche of players. Ikega versus uh, Setochi. Or Setochi. Ikego is the Elena. Are there any low parable overheads in this game? I can't say for certain, but I'm pretty sure no. Ooh, he parried the last two hits. That was cool. Only went for uh Elena is kind of like Dudley in that she's mostly footsies, but the and like short cancels and combos. But uh, as soon as she gets a corner and uses a bar, she can get some cool juggles. Like if she uses a bar mid screen, she gets a short juggle. If she uses a bar in the corner, she gets a long juggle. Dudley's pretty much the same way. Your Japanese pronunciation is exquisite. Get out. Ooh. I don't think this is going to kill, no matter how he does it. He did like the max damage follow up, I think. His juggle wasn't max damage, though. Max damage Ganagian juggles are insane, but they're all retardedly difficult. Happy mean blocked high and then turn have to be parried high zombie. Yeah, there's a bit of a weird a weirdness with the way that normals hit in this game. Are you a wall scroll collector? No, I do not have a wall scroll. I do kind of like uh, calligraphy. Yeah, Dark Dimensions kind of describes... It's it's not universal. It's very strange. It seems to be programmed move by move. But just for an example of what he's talking about, Dudley's cross counter can be hit by medium buttons, but it counters high buttons. So even though moves like that look like um, 3S, Ganagian, like Feng Shui Engine, that you usually have to activate it from neutral rather than trying to combo off of it. Um, if you can help it, you combo off of it, but there's no reason not to con to use it in neutral. In a perfect world, you'd get the confirm like you just did there. But there's no reason there's no reason not to use it in neutral. It's really good in either way. They definitely fucked up with that. That was like one of the biggest problems with this game. That's too stupid. 
It's way too good. Gennagene should not be strong in footsies. It should only be strong in combos. Or like the other way around. It should not be strong in combos. It should only be strong in footsies. It should not be both. It's way too good because it's both. It needs a dramatically longer bar. He's going for Kara Palms. That's kind of cool. You see him? I'm pretty sure those are Kara Palms. You can use Palms outside of uh, combos. Um, you can use, use you can use Palms without them being Kara Palms. But I think those were Kara Palms. Basically, uh, you do stand short. It's not a true Kara. It's not like a one frame Kara. It's like you whiff the stand short and then you hit, do the palm inside it. The timing is quite tight, but I don't think it's as tight as a car is. You can't combo. Oh, is that a combo? Yeah, Ganagian combos do a lot of damage. Yun is noticeably better than most of the other characters in this cast. People bitch about Chun Li a lot, but Yun is really good too. The thing about Chun Li is that her what makes her really good is very simple. It's like old Sagat, you know. It's like it's not like it's easy to play her necessarily. It kind of is. She's not one of the harder characters in the game. Well, she is at the highest level. Um, but um, what really makes Chun Li broken is uh, is a very simple mix up. No, that's not an accident split. That's not an accident. But like, uh, Yun is very hard to unlock, and it takes uh, complete mastery of the character to unlock his really broken stuff. So it's more like, let's say, um, Dalsim or Balrog. That overhead link was cool. Dropped his combo. Greatness of Street Fighter 3. That was a... He wanted the recorner. That was a cool combo. It's a fake cross-up. If he jumped a little higher, it would have been a real cross-up. A lot of people would like Third Strike if they knew anything about it, I think. It's actually a pretty cool game. It's good for different reasons than Street Fighter 4. It's a very satisfying game to play. It's a very high skill ceiling. So there's a lot of room for personal development. Yeah, the balancing is shit. That's one of the things that Street Fighter 4 absolutely has over it. It's fair. It's a fair game. Third Strike is not a fair game. You can make it a fair game if you pick certain characters. I hope that Street Fighter V, like, has a high skill ceiling and, and uh, um, fun gameplay. It's Thanatos again. We get to see him. Tanatosu. Tanatosu. That was a cool combo. That's um, Max Meteor build off of two hit uh, stand strong. What the fuck? He's running Super 1? The fuck is he doing? Super 1's not shitty, but 2 and 3 are so good. One requires like good parrying skill and lots of reads, and it doesn't even do that much damage. Yeah, it's got a short meter though. It also notably has Aura's only non-EX tower, Oniyama, reversal. Which is cool. It's a good character to start playing Third Strike. Uh, either Twin, uh, any Shoto, uh, Aura. Play whoever you like. All the characters are pretty cool for different reasons. The only characters I recommend avoiding are, um... Ooh, gonna get a juggle. I was gonna say he was, I think, too early there. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Why is he picking Super 1? That's not good. Not even against Yon, not even against Ganajin. Yeah, Super 1 is still useless. He's still running Super 1. What the fuck is this? Well, 
Oro has very high potential. Not all characters have high potential. Oro has a lot of stuff that's underutilized because it's restrictively difficult. Due to charge, charge partitioning, stuff like that. Very particular setups. Wow, he got that. Why'd that even work? I guess it would have still worked if he parried. Why are combos easier in Omega? There's automatic input buffering. Basically, every time you hit a button, it hits the button repeatedly for several frames in a row. Without even telling you. It's an interesting system they programmed. That can actually work, the cross-up stomp. I don't know if it works on Dudley. That's a really good anti-air. Ducking under the opponent and then super the other way. <gasps> Ooh, we got the meaty universal overhead link. What the fuck? He threw a fireball and then juggled? I've never even seen that. That's completely new to me. A normal throw? Why didn't you just do the command grab, fucker? Oro, all the time he's orange, he has access to a command grab that does completely stupid damage. And it's unblockable. And you can do it mid-air, too. But it's air-to-air -air only or ground-to-ground -ground only. You can't do, like, air-to-ground or anything. You can juggle into it, too. But he has no juggle starters, as long as he has no punches. So you've got to do the combo, start the juggle, then cancel the super, then juggle it. Because it turns all of your punches into the command grab. It should just turn, like, fierce into the command grab or something. Keep strong and jab as is. That would be better. This is uh, Totsuka Sensei. He's a very good Dudley. A very good Dudley. Why is he still running Super 1? What the fuck is this? Super 3 is... I mean, Super 2 is so good in this matchup. Super 3 as well, I guess. Fucking hell! How's he getting so fucking... How's he getting all these setups? Uh, no. This this uh, this week's tournament has no theme. I'm thinking about only making like 1 in 3 or 1 in 4 have a theme. My kanji knowledge is actually not that good. This guy is just famous. I recognize the Toe, and I recognize the Sensei. The Toe is Door, I think. Sensei is like before lived. Characters to avoid in this game? I think I already got my whole point across. Um, oh, I guess maybe I didn't. Uh, characters to avoid are characters... Um, the only characters I would avoid are like Sean and Twelve. Every other character could ha has has good potential. He got hit by that. Honestly, on Wake Up, it is quite scary when Aura has super activated. You do feel really pressured to... Um, Oro is actually not that difficult. Oro has... Oro's basics are quite hard, but everything harder than that is very easy. Or like as hard as his basics are, like that's as hard as it gets. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like once you have the basics down, you have everything. You know how I, like, with my character tutorials, I do, like, an entry level and then, like, an advanced difficulty? If I was doing that for Oro, I'd probably say Oro's a 4 for entry level and then a 5 for advanced. Oro's not even bad. Oro's quite good. Oro, in my opinion, is actually one of the stronger, one of the stronger characters in the game. He just has 3 bad match. 5 by match. But he like he's really solid versus most of the cast. I actually like on r related to this story, long time ago on TDF or GGPO, I don't remember. Um Yeah, my Hiragana and Katakana are on point. Um a long time ago on 2DF, I was playing a Yurian and he I beat him so I didn't even say anything and I didn't even taunt. But I beat him so badly, and he kept on getting angrier and angrier, that at some point, like halfway through the match, he like stopped and told me that I I made him so mad that he broke his keyboard, and then he told me um, he told me that he wanted me to buy him a new keyboard. I didn't even taunt. I didn't even do anything to make him mad. I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not gonna buy you a new keyboard. Do this to yourself." You can't control your anger, you've got to fucking live with the consequences of it. That's a true story.
I wasn't even bad mannered. Sometimes I jokingly list that among my proudest achievements. I made a guy so angry he broke his keyboard without even doing anything except being better than him. Is that close enough? Yeah, it is. That's nice. You can't dizzy, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Dudley actually has such a long dizzy bar that Makoto can't dizzy him in a single combo. Or at least no combo I'm aware of. Whoa, why'd he do that? It worked, though. There used to be people who, like, you play ST in arcades against them, you throw them too many times, they punch you in the face. Those people used to exist back when ST was in arcades and people played it. You pick Chun-Li, you walk and throw, walk and throw, walk and throw, they punch you. Like, the majority of people thought that was um, cheap. Makoto has unusually cool combos on uh, Dizzy Dudley. Dudley's Dizzy animation happens to make it so he can get hit by Fukiyaga on the ground. So it's like some proto Ultra EX Fukiyaga shit. That's my favorite Ultra change across the whole cast. EX Fukiyaga hitting grounded opponents. I just really like the way it uh, affects Makoto as a character. It's the perfect change, in my opinion. Ooh, that hurts. Hello, <laughs> <Low> Strongs! <laughs> That's a good normal. He was waiting, he was trying to trade with something. He was waiting for Makoto to try and dash in. Or, like, hit a button. The Strong is a really good button in this matchup for Dudley. But that was, like, ridiculous. <laughs> that was a lot of low strongs. Ouch. Makoto can keep Dudley in the corner quite efficiently. This matchup is probably even. I don't know. Probably even. It's quite an interesting matchup. I've seen it many times. Makoto is much more explosive than Dudley is. Dudley is very explosive. I mean, Makoto is very explosive. Tominaga versus Kuni. Kuni is a good view. Tominaga is a great Makoto. Both of them are great. I don't know why I implied that, like, Tominaga is a better player than Kuni. They're both really good. Eep. Vas Tosaname is a corner escape, yeah. That was in this game. It's not useless. The thing is, if like you're jumping and you parry a hit of the Abare Tosanami, like if you jump back parry, uh, Makoto has to do the whole thing. Like if you parry, it counts by the game as like hitting. So like Makoto does the follow-up animation. What do you mean you can do SF4 Abare Tosanami from the ground? You have to do Abare Tosanami from the ground in both games. It's a ground special move. So that was free. Is the Kuni the Geef player? I'm actually not sure. I don't know if it's the same guy. Maybe. He's Genki again. No. Oh, dude, on the verge of a dizzy. Alex can Alex can win this off of like two connects if he's lucky. Skillful. <laughs> that was one of the connects he needed. One stay in fierce, one like towards strong, something like that. It's just over. Not anymore. It would have been though. Towards strong is a good button. It's, actually, it doesn't do that much dizzy. Alex has jump normals and fucking whatnot. A lot of his hard normals. A lot of his buttons just do a retarded amount of dizzy. He's got a command grab, but it's kind of slow. It's like 6 or 7 frames. Somewhere between 6 and 8, I couldn't quite say. So it's not a very good command grab. It does have more range than um, most throws. So it's uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of like Honda's non-EX uh, OHO. 
that's the clearest comparison I can think of. And then he has a super that's a normal 360 motion, and it's um, it's like Honda's uh, Ultra Two. It's a two frame two frame throw. You can jump out of it. You can car it too for extra range. Yeah, off of his towards fierce, right? No. You must have to car it off of something else. I know his towards fierce does car, but there's no human way that you can do towards fierce car command grab. That doesn't make sense. There's no possible motion that that'll work. Here's a uh, Tokura again. He's very good. Towards Fierce can't be the car for Command Grab. There's no way that works. What's the motion? There's no way you can do Towards Fierce and then a half circle back. The game doesn't read inputs that fast. You need to do four motions in one frame. The game can only register one motion per frame. I know he can car throw his uh, normal throw. I don't think he can car throw his command grab. I've never heard anyone discuss that, and it sounds impossible on paper. That was nice. You should theoretically be able to do... Hmm. I'll go check it out. You should theoretically be able to do Towards Fierce Car Super. That should work. Like if you did um, Half Circle Forward, and then hit Forward Hard Punch, and then did Up Forward and and, and Punch, that would theoretically work as a car. That's like Tool Assisted only, though. It's very difficult. Very difficult for human hands. Also, the extra range doesn't help that much. Ouch. Oh, good reversal. Is it in range? Is it in range? Yeah, it is. It's close. The command grab, the hits can connect, and the command grab won't always be in range. So, um, it just whiffs, and then Alex is punishable. It's one of the stupidest things about that super. Alex has no good super. All three of his supers for, are really bad for one reason or another. Two is the only one that gives it multiple super inputs. I mean, multiple super stocks. So uh, it gives him the most EX to play with. And Alex's EX is fine. Super 2 is probably the best super anyway, but only barely. <laughs> it does okay damage. It doesn't really have any confirms. You can use it in punish combos okay. Alex has no sp special move he can combo with the super, which is kind of annoying. Except uh, EX clap. I mean EX slash. Slash. EX chop. Slash is the. Slash elbow is the. Alright, here's the video.